Good question, Wayne. Um, I'm actually going to ask this of Michael Jammon, my clock app friend. All right, Paul, I'll take the bait. So it really depends on what works for you and your writing partner. Some writing partners alternate acts. Some writing partners alternate scenes. Me and my writing partner, we alternate words. So he takes words 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and then I do words 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Uh, you wouldn't think it works that way, but when we merge the scripts together, magic. It's magic. All right, here's how it really works. So in the beginning, we write everything together. We're in the same room at the same exact time. We write every single line together. In the beginning, this is how old we were, uh, or are. I don't even know the tenses anymore. Uh, in the beginning, one of us would watch over the other's shoulder at the computer. Then technology advanced, and then we got a computer with two different monitors. And now we use a function on Final Draft called collaboration. Uh, which, by the way, Final Draft, I have some suggestions on improvements. Reach out to me. Anyway, so we use that, which allows us both to be on separate laptops and to literally work on the script at the same exact time. And we don't usually do it that way. Usually one of us is watching, the other one is typing, because we have to agree on everything. I think it's really important, especially for comedy, because how do you know if it's funny if no one's laughing? So that's how you get that feedback. Occasionally, we'll have a speech that we both agree on, and he, my partner, he types slow, and I lose patience. So he started to type, and then I go, forget it. I, get, I jump to the end of the speech, and I start typing it. And we're literally typing the thing at the same exact time. It looks ridiculous. This is not how writing is meant to be done. But if you were to watch it, you'd be like, well, what's, what are these guys doing? Uh, so that's how we do it. I watched a really interesting interview from uh, Roland Orzabal, who's the singer from Tears for Fears. He talked about working in partnerships. They were huge in the 80s, and then they kind of let their egos get in the way, and they split up. And then they recently got back together after many years to start writing and recording songs together. And their newest album, Tipping Point, is wonderful. They're still making great music together. And he said, you know, in the beginning they would fight over stuff. And now that they're older and mature, he's come to the realization that what makes a Tears for Fear song is a song that they both agree on. And I thought, yes, that's exactly right. When my partner and I work together, it's, it's, it's a script that we both agree on. And we both have to agree on it. And that kind of creates our brand. So when people hire us, when people hire Glaram and Jammin, they know they're going to get, this is what they're going to get from those two idiots over there. It's going to be this level of quality. This level of quality. Thank you for tagging me, Paul. For more, keep following me at Michael Jammin Writer.